I like red reds and I wanted a red that looked like an accident. I wanted a red that looked like blood. I wanted a red that looked like revelations, end of the world. Um, I just wanted that fiery, bleeding, pure red. All right, everyone. Welcome to Lipstick and Politics. I have been talking about doing a little offshoot of my podcast for a little while. I'm sorry. Do you ever, when you're like going out at night and you want something to do, you ever like hear, you're like, this is where the spot is. This is where the party is. Yes, I found it. It's bumping and it's a car. It's not like some, it's not someplace you're actually invited to. It's just someone's car. That's what's going on outside with it. Anyway, if you don't know who I am, my name is Kelechi Azia. I am the host of the weekly podcast, Cake and Kombucha. Cake and Kombucha is a place where I get together with myself and talk about politics and serious things going on in the world. That is the kombucha part. And the cake part is the reality TV, the mess, the the fun things, dinosaurs, just, you know, weird things my sister sends me from BBC. She's got this like alien dinosaur. I'm not gonna lie, those are, those interests exactly align with my own. Let me not throw shade where it's not warranted. It's current events with a little spin, my spin. Let me start out by saying that I am not an influencer, but if you want to send me anything free, I will place my info down below. I am an actress, a writer, and a singer. I like makeup. I love YouTube. I've learned so much from it. I've learned how to do my hair. I've learned how to, even when I need to look something up on my editing side or GarageBand, like YouTube is life. Yeah, I just had this idea, let me just, that we could just like try on some lipstick together. I'm gonna do an unboxing. This is a box. Like I said, I'm not an influencer. So um, this is from Bite Beauty. They have sent me something in a lovely um, UPS. It's a cardboard box, as you can see. Um, it's really nicely done. It's three dimensional. Um, you can see that it's got a front, a back, and then it's got these sides here. Um, there is a sticker on it that says to Kalechi AZA, um, address is not going to read that out loud. There's a nice barcode. I assume that's something that they scan when they're trying to get it to where it needs to go. And let's, let's get into it. opening the box right now be careful okay all right so we have this beautiful um, bubble wrap we have a receipt in case I want to return anything don't be scared to return things ladies and gentlemen if you don't like it, you don't have to keep it. Did you know that you can return things to the drugstore? A lot of people don't know that. And when I do try and make up and return it to the drugstore, they try to play me and be like, did you use it? Did you open this? And I'm like, yes, that's how I know I don't want it. Um, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So the inside of the box actually is cute. They branded the inside. So we got some recycling on the outside, some good for the environment on the outside, and it says Bite Beauty. And look, the logo, as you can see, someone took a bite out of the bee. <laughs> All right, so I ordered this a couple weeks ago. I don't remember, I think I was on the search for nudes. I've been on a search for this um, Kim Kardashian nude lip. Now, I, I mean, don't get mad at me that I, I don't hate Kim Kardashian the way that perhaps I'm, let me just say that she has nice uh, nude lips. I don't know what, like, is that, is that something I'm allowed to say? I do like that artist, that makeup artist she has, that really handsome guy, the way that he just does the, like, darker brown out on the outside. I'm not saying she invented this. But it, if there's this peachy champagne thing that I feel like is a nice everyday look and also looks really good with a more dramatic eye when you're going out. And I just, 
it's just some you know how something just starts to become really attractive attractive to you and you want to try it anyway let's go through what i got how cute okay so first of all it came in this red packaging that said bite so for you non-influencers like me this is what you're gonna get you're gonna still get some red tissue even if you don't have millions of followers you're gonna get red tissue with a sticker on it that says bite I got a mirror it says bite this is kind of uncomfortable remind you of anything it's uncomfortable right we don't we push boundaries here um okay so I got a bunch of shit I'm excited it's like you sur I think I also gave myself a gift receipt and said it was a present and I was like you're fabulous where's the note that I wrote to myself I wrote you deserve everything that life has to offer I have a free sample oh of the multi stick so I love multi sticks actually my friend Lindsay hey Linz for my birthday she gave me a gift certificate to Credo Credo is a it's like Sephora for all natural makeup now I will say this everything smells like stale coconut that's just when people say they're not scenting things and it has to be organic and all natural and come from Mother Earth's nipples that she squeezed out when she was um, pumping before she went to work. It's not going to smell that great. Like, I don't know what to say. I guess you just can't like really preserve like fresh flower scent or something. And and I don't know, because obviously in nature, there are things that smell delicious. Right. But that, I don't that hasn't. And like, if you're a woman of color, just be careful because there's a lot of things that are going to look ashy. There's a lot of things that aren't going to show up at all. So you really have to balance how much you care about the environment and leaving a better earth for our future children with how much you want your makeup to show up and how much you're willing to risk, like possibly some of the ingredients in the makeup that, you know, is really pigmented causing cancer later. These are just things we don't know. So... I chose Dorby. Dorby for 100, Alex. I'm taking the pigmented makeup. This is a multi stick sample, and I also have this. Uh, hello, water bottle. I also have this sample here of the multi stick. Le baton multi tache. Le baton multi tache. Ooh, ah oui. Color légère pour yeux, lèvres et joues. That is weightless color for eyes, lips, et joue. Cheeks? I forgot. Yeah, the cheeks. Um, yeah. So we have some colors here. I First of all, let me just say this. My normal look is I like a natural makeup look normally. I like a barely there makeup. I follow, what's her name? Tom Vo. Uh, the who does all the Marc Jacobs glowy look her signature glowy look and I the Marc Jacobs was on sale I got that I'm into applying makeup with your fingers to kind of melt it into your skin but today for some reason I knew I was coming on camera for you guys and I just got excited and beat my face like it had hurt my feelings I took my hourglass and golden almond which the hourglass stick is still the truth like if you want a beat that I feel like is still a skin like beat like it's full to me it's full coverage i don't know youtube is a is a wild wild west now in terms of coverage people are angry sometimes the stuff that people don't consider full coverage and they're mad at i'm like uh, my next videos are probably going to be a little bit more on the natural side but anyway that is to say that i already have stuff on so i don't know if i'm going to try to put this anywhere else this is cashew. This is a multi-stick in cashew. Oh, that's very subtle. It's kind of like a mauve. It's giving me a mauve on my... Sorry, am I holding this the right way? I mean, I can't really see much. So we're going to just try that on as a lip. So I'm going to give you everything without lip liner. And then if it looks like it's super pale, we will add a lip liner. Because again, I was going for that pale, pale nude look that you can then like use to outline your lips with. So this is called toasted cardamom. I love toasted cardamom's name. It smells minty, it doesn't smell like toasted cardamom. 
Ooh. Okay. This lipstick is very creamy. It's, it feels beautiful on, I'm not gonna lie to you. The way it goes on, it feels like something you should be putting on your lips, like for health reasons. Okay, wait, hold on. What do you think? Um, so that's toasted cardamom without lip liner. Now I have a brown lip liner, again, from the beauty supply store. I don't know what brand it is. I'm going to gently outline my lips a little bit. Just to add a little dimension there. See what that's giving us. Oh, it's giving me early 90s. I need to blend. That's what it's giving me. Let me get a lip brush and blend that out a little bit. This is it for me. This is the nude I've been looking for for this fall. This is the nude I wanted. I'm like very pleased. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. So this is toasted cardamom. Okay. okay. Yo, I'm happy. This is great. This is really great. Okay. So while I have the toasted cardamom on, let's just talk a little bit about what the goal of this is. Let me give you a little bit about my background. So basically, I'm really interested in politics. I grew up in a household where my family was always watching. My mom and dad, you know, they listened to NPR in the morning as they got ready for work. And so that was kind of my background to the day and those are my associations with getting ready it's buffalo new york so that was wb um buffalo new york so that was wb i don't know what it's called um i will and i'll shout out the buffalo uh npr station below when i figure that out but anyway that was just kind of in the background i remember growing up while well, i'm dating myself but when i was little christian amanpour with her fierce bowl haircut was always doing, giving you international news. This is back when CNN was reputable and not entertainment news. I remember asking why that man had white hair, but he looked young. That was Anderson Cooper. 60 Minutes, we used to sit down as a family on Sundays and watch 60 Minutes. So that's always been a part of my life. I remember my dad, uh, am I gonna cry? My dad uh, passed away about 13 years ago, but he was an amazing man and he was an immigrant from Nigeria, an Igbo man. And I do remember when he became a citizen, my parents telling me not to tell anyone because they, they didn't want people to know that he already wasn't a citizen, if that makes sense. And, and I think about all these things now because these immigration conversations that come up are very personal to me. As someone who is, um, I'm an American citizen. I was born and raised in Buffalo, New York. I'm half, you know, my, I'm on one side, I'm first generation. On the other side, I'm a bunch of generations of African American. On the other side, I'm first generation Nigerian. But it's really interesting to hear the kind of things that are coming out now in the political landscape and hear how the cavalier nature with which people discuss things like immigration and refer to immigrants as infestations and things like that. And I am learning so many times over again how th the things that people think are divisive, like talking about race creates racism. I mean, obviously that's bullshit, but the real divides we have are just so clear to me that I care about things. I, I care about people in another country. And maybe some of you never never will. You've never loved someone that's come from someplace else, apparently. Or, you know, your grandparents came from Italy or Ireland two generations ago, three generations ago, you know, acclimated to the country. Those immigrant ethnic groups became considered white, even though they used to be ostracized too. And now you don't forgot that you ever had any type of um, problems fitting in anywhere. 
whatever the case may be, people's empathy meters are so far off, but we'll, we'll get to that further along in the, in the conversation. But that is to say, I'm really kind of just, excuse me if I'm rambling, but I really am trying to figure out like why these things matter so much to me. And I'm looking back. And so these are some of the ways that I started getting into stuff like this. And so my, for my dad, voting was a huge, huge deal. And so he took us, I remember going into the voting booth with him and being able to pull the lever. And that is a memory that will always stay with me. So I guess I took it for granted that everyone cared as much about stuff like this. And now shoot to 2016 when shit really went off the rails. It just became this kind of obsession for me. So in 2016, and I'm going to take off this lipstick now and stop feeling myself and go to the next, um, the next lipstick color. But in 2016, I had finished touring with the Book of Mormon. I was doing the national tour of the Broadway show of Book of Mormon. Amazing experience. I did three years with that show and it took me all around the country, right? So I was, went all over my teeth, just, but I mean, it's coconut oil, so we're not going to fault the lipstick yet. I don't think Bite is known for its staying power. I'm just going to say that right now. I don't recall. I feel, again, like when things are natural, I don't think that's, I don't know if that's always achievable. You know, put shea butter and juices and berries and stuff is going to slip around in your lips. It's going to moisturize them. It's going to slip around in your lips. I don't know. Um, 2016, coming off the tour of Book of Mormon, I had, I'm a East Coast girl. I uh, was born in Buffalo, New York. I went to college in New Jersey. I went to Princeton, which is in Princeton, New Jersey, uh, just like an hour and a half outside of New York City on the Metro North. Um, sorry, New Jersey Transit. I'm tripping. New Jersey Transit. And then my mom moved to North Carolina after my dad passed away. She moved down to North Carolina. So that's where we would go like for, for summer break in college. But I'd also been going to North Carolina because my aunt and uncle lived down there. And so those are my... Dook, dook. Up and down the East Coast is where cousins in Tallahassee, Florida, cousins in Virginia, um, really East Coast life. So on tour, I got a chance to visit the flyover states and which is like, don't you fly everywhere you need to fly to? But and then the West Coast, I live my best life on the West Coast. I love California. I came back. A completely different color, sun kiss, people didn't even recognize me, like just glowing, living my best life like it's golden. But what I did notice was that in hotels and places we would be staying out in the West and Arizona, whatever, people had Fox News on in like the gym and stuff. And so I always consider like whatever news you have on in the gym is just like background, it's like neutral, but it's like official. I realized that, oh, wait, this is people's news. Like, they're actually going to this for facts. It was scary. So when I came back to New York, I was totally jarred because I was back in the liberal bubble. And I don't say that in a, like, liberals are wrong about stuff. We're mostly right about everything. I say that in the fact that, yeah, it is a bubble. Wherever you are, where everybody around you believes the same thing is a bubble. It's just what it is. It's like not shade. It's like a fact. So I was very alarmed to see that people were like, oh, we don't have, really have to vote for Hillary. Like, let's drag the fuck out of her. But she's definitely going to win anyway. And I was like, no, she's not. Because I've been other places in America. And I've seen that people do not think the way that we think here. They they care about different stuff. They live near cactuses, things I just never imagined. A cactus being outside. Like, sometimes it helps to stop and think about the fact that America is so many different climates. Like, other countries don't have different climates in one, uh, one you know, within their borders. That's not actually that common. Sometimes I'm like, it's a miracle we all have the same government anyway, because we don't care about the same things. And by that, I mean Texas, Florida. I don't, if you secede, I'm good with it. Goodbye. We good. Um, really, like all of the Confederate states that still wave those flags, if, you, if that's how you feel, you're welcome to leave. It's totally cool with me. Like I said, we don't care about the same things. 
But I just, I really was shocked that people did not realize that there's other people looking at stuff a different way. And I was like, no, you're wrong. So I kind of felt like I was like, is that Chicken Little that said the sky's falling? I just felt like I was running around being like super stressed out. You know, you've just come back from living in beautiful like corporate housing and all kinds of stuff and nice Airbnbs and getting Broadway money all around the country. You come back to New York and even with like the best of intentions, you're just, the quality of life is just not quite it. You're like, oh, there's rats outside. Haven't seen those in a minute. So I was just like, oh, it's dingy and everyone and the politics. And I just remember watching the news obsessively, watching footage of Trump, knowing what I'd seen when I was traveling and knowing how popular he was and really just realizing that we East Coasters care. We care about East Coast shit. Racist people care about racist shit and never the two shall meet. So I was super stressed out and not at all surprised when Trump won. And I just remember the next day, people being like, how could this happen? I'm like, because people like that shit. Also, I have a bad habit of reading internet comments. And so I do know how crazy people are because I read. This is Honeycomb. So basically, I was super stressed out. I felt like I was kind of alone in the ramping up to the stress of it. And then by the time it happened, uh, the apocalypse, the beginning of apocalypse now, when Trump was elected, it was too late. There's nothing to do about it. Okay. This is giving me um, powder donut realness. Let it be known it's too light to wear on its own. So basically, I want to do something different this time is what I'm saying I still watch too much news I watch a lot of all the news I compare and contrast I like to see what the coverage on this is compared to the coverage of that and it's like how these narratives are crisscrossing or not even crisscrossing how these narratives are just whoop, parallel talking about different stuff I hope you can still take me seriously while I have uh, Tyrone Bigham's lipstick on so I thought this year, let me do something different than I did before. As we come to the election, let me, I have a voice, I have this podcast, let me share my thoughts, let me watch Fox and let my brain explode and risk my brain cells melting so you don't have to. Let me try to do something, let me try to spread some knowledge, let me try to share, create a conversation because I need to, because I can't take this anymore. I can't take it alone, okay? It's too much. All right, now we're gonna put this on again. I'm just kind of doing it messy because I know I'm gonna have to blend it anyway. Okay, very anything for Selena's. Let's go through the rest of these lipsticks. This is another pale uh, nude called Bite of LA. So Bite does these city editions and do they add new cities every year or something like that? Oh no, it's they have also have a Zodiac one where they add new, um, they're adding a new color as the month, your month comes up. But these city editions are just like limited. I wear that lipstick, I mean with that lip liner. But I'm gonna try it on with the lip liner. No bite, you be killing it. You be killing it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Give me what I need. Yeah. Yeah. The vocal exercise. Yeah. You're probably saying to yourself, this girl's so excited over these lipsticks that all look the same, that all look like the color of her lips. Yes. Yes, I am. 
So this is meringue, which is another nude surprise. These look so similar. I, I'm going to swatch them at the end for you so you can see. I'm not, like, I could do without this. I'm going to be consistent and put the liner on for you, but I already know that I just feel like the other ones are better. Maybe I'll watch the, watch the video back and change my mind. This, I think this isn't nude. It's turned mauve for me, and I think that's why I don't really need it. It's just not what, it's just not the agenda today. It's not what we're looking for. Bite of ATL. Ow! So this is going to be, well, I feel like it should be obviously a peach, but it doesn't look like peachy. Oh, that's peachy. It's, it's bright. It is a bright peachy pink, not as orange as, I actually am a girl that likes orange lips, so I could have done with a little more orange in this peach. I think it's very pretty. I mean, it's very bright. It's not, it's not the most fall lip you've ever seen, but I think it's pretty. I still think it leaves a liner like and this is a credit to them that their um their pale colors are so pigmented that you you do still need a liner i can't find my brown pencil from what's that pencil they recommend to every black woman that one we all have it it's not cork is it cork it's the other one not mad at this don't know if it's what i was looking for right now i think it's very springy but I'm not mad. Okay. <sighs> I'm stressed out. I can't mess. I can't fuck this up. You can't fuck this up. Your lip line will look crazy if you mess this one up. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's it. There it is. Oh, yes. Oh, Kelly Clarkson. Ooh. This is a red I've been looking for. Ah. Mm. I like red reds and I wanted a red that looked like an accident. I wanted a red that looked like blood. I wanted a red that looked like revelations, end of the world. Um, I just wanted that fiery, bleeding, pure red. And I'm getting, I was getting kind of sick of mattes. So it's a little dangerous because this is going to slide everywhere when you eat or drink. I just already, like, I know that. But I feel like it's still worth it. It's just so bright. It's just vibrant. It's just, uh, let me clean up the bottom a little bit. You got to be really careful how you apply this. It is. This formula is not for people who um, can't take a little embarrassment. I definitely, I talk, and so, something about the way I talk or the way my lips are shaped, I always get lipstick down here. So it's just a thing that I'm used to being a slight mess. If you're, if you're, if something like that is going to ruin your week, you don't want to wear probably any of these lipsticks. But I, on the other hand, am willing to risk it. This is a keeper. It's very, I will say that it's very like, it's blue, is this blue undertones? I think it's blue. And I don't like it with my, with my, um, the warmer tones in my eyeshadow. This requires, to me, this requires a bear. This requires a bear face to me. This is it. When you wear this, this is it. I would not wear a heavy eyeliner. I would not have a wing. I maybe have a wing. I'd have no shimmer up here at all. 
like no yellows no nothing else like this i i would start with my face bare and really like start from there maybe add a little bit of this cashew stick that i couldn't see at all just so i feel like i'm doing something but i love it it's called gazpacho i don't even think i said that which is a delicious tomato soup for the summertime and this is already on my teeth and i'm still when i tell you i don't care i mean it before we get out of here for today let me swatch these for you i'm not going to swatch the red that's very just everything else was pink so that doesn't make sense um oh i didn't try cashew on my lips eh, you get the idea okay and the swatch is not in the order that i tried them on in meringue that's meringue bite of la which I really liked and you can see these just slight differences in the tone make a huge difference because wasn't a huge fan of meringue bite of ATL very obviously different honeycomb which looks so neutral in the it looks like it would it just looks like it would be a little different but actually it was beige maybe that was the problem and then my favorite toasted cardamom very very similar on the hand again the way these things work you just gotta put it on your lips and try it out that's why i don't even always believe in swatching like this would not because i would have thought that this would be the one i wanted and it was like my least favorite and let me swatch cashew the multi-stick so that's cashew which looks like Pretty similar to toasted cardamom. Let me see if I can get this red off, actually. I don't know if we're going to be trying anything after the red, but I will try. <laughs> I think I got most of it off my lips. Let's try the toasted cardamom just for consistency. Because we're this year we're doing the things that we say we're gonna do we're not breaking promises to ourselves I don't hate it it actually might be kind of that that uh paler beige that I I'm, I'm I might be lying to you on myself right now I don't I don't I don't know the difference between this and some of the other ones I've tried on I'm literally gonna have to watch the video back just like you will be watching it <sighs> lip liner I turned the whole thing mauvey purple I gotta buy my true brown that's what these need but again I love the formula they're fabulous your lips are not gonna feel dry and icky I just needed a change I felt like just t two years almost of wearing mats like some so strong that they stayed on overnight into the next day I just felt like my lips need something different I'm, I'm ready for a different sheen I'm ready for them to shine and I'm okay with reapplying my lipstick so if that's okay with you then I would seriously consider checking out Bite because it just is a luxurious feeling on your lips and they have so many colors. They sponsored me to say this. No one cares about me yet, but maybe soon they will. Again, if you want to send me brownies, um, heirlooms, makeup that you were given as a free sample that you didn't try on, but you, you know, whatever you want, whoever's watching, I'll put my P.O. box down below. Just don't send me any explosives. That's not nice. And that's it for now. So this is Lipsticks and Politics. I kind of uh, only gave you the intro to really what I will be doing as I do these things. And I am going to release a part two where I talk about the, the town hall that we had two days ago how it was received again contrasting how it was received on the left with the right very interesting shocking honestly it's really it's really important for us to know and not take for granted that things are not being reported and seen the same way you might think that is really obvious and a good thing for people to have civil rights other people don't feel that way so we're going to talk about it but not now because i've taken up enough of your time so every week on Thursdays, Cake and Kombucha Drops. That is my podcast that can be found on Apple, 
on Spotify, on Stitcher, on Google Play, SoundCloud, pretty much everywhere podcasts are sold for free, which they are free. It's fun. It's funny. There's singing. There's sketches. You will like it. I guarantee you. I haven't heard anything bad yet. And if you don't, honestly, I just have some information. Don't tell me you don't. I'm going to change it. Here, it is produced and hosted by me. We cover current events and we cover reality TV. We cover 90 Day Fiance. We cover all of the things. It's really fun. There's singing. There's sketches. I throw in some music for you guys every week. A little bit of either it's a, like a parody styling or just me singing something that's been on my heart. You know, something really soulful like my neck, my back, something like that. It's a good time, and again, it is how I got the idea to start doing this with you. So if you want something to have with you while you're driving, while you're shaving, while you're plucking your eyebrow hairs out one by one, please, please subscribe and rate and review. But I will see you back here for part two where we're gonna discuss the town hall that just happened. I might be trying on some new lipsticks for that video, or I might just try and one and, and sit down and kiki with you a little bit more. Okay, so this has been Lipstick and Politics by Cake and Kombucha with your host, Kalechi Azier. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.